What does it take to build the world's largest ethane gas carrier? It takes 6,250 tons of steel and more than a thousand skilled workers to cut, weld and shape that steel into a ship. The ethane will be carried in the world's largest bilobe tanks. This is the best way for liquefied gas to travel. Creating these tanks in perfect shape is a work of precision. The tanks are made in a welding workshop and then brought to the shipyard. Meanwhile, the ship's hull is being built. Huge steel blocks are brought in and then giant cranes are used to position them with an accuracy of a few millimeters in a dock where they will be welded together. Now it's time to bring in the gas tanks. This ship will carry 27,500 cubic meters of gas, enough to fill up one million standard cooking gas cylinders. Eight of these vessels will form part of a $1 billion project to move more than 40,000 barrels of gas a day, every day of the year for 15 years, from the US to Europe. No one has ever tried to ship ethane in these quantities and over this distance before. The deck is built, providing the surface for a maze of pipelines, fittings and equipment that will make the vessel ready to transport its cargo. It will move powerfully across the oceans. Sophisticated navigation equipment is installed on the bridge Now, this ship is really starting to look seaworthy. The ship is also powered by gas. 2,000 cubic meter tanks store clean fuel to propel the ship through the water. Down in the engine room, engineers are giving final touches to the machinery that will move the ship forward. This modern ship will be very energy efficient and it's ready to set sail. The first two of the world's largest ethane carriers were launched in Shidong, China, in a ceremony that brought together the traditional and the new. Now the ship is ready, ready to travel the world supplying clean, natural liquid gas fuel to the people who need it. Evergas, carried by experience.